Some new reeds here. Maybe somebody's asleep here, so we just keep going. Somebody here fishing. One of my one of our old friends here. Casting their lines. Dobre jutro. Okotov. It's a lovely morning. They've thrown out a lot of stuff already. They make these little baits. Well, they just feed them first of all to draw them in. This guy has a full box of them over here. Looks like he's filming it. just doing an exercise or is he going out I didn't see where it landed Wokotov Interesting, all the different forms, the, the lake assumes different colors, different ripples. So peaceful. And the readings today have a lot of tension. But they also find peace. struggle of the human heart with God. The life of faith is not an easy life. It's a life of quite a lot of challenge interiorly. We have that longing to be total independent, totally independent, self-directing people. And sure, we're given a great gift of freedom, but we're in the context of having been created. And as such, then we're, we're dependent on our creator, our life hangs from him just like the tree needs its roots. Just like every plant here needs its roots. I saw a little heading today of uh, a fellow who was here actually in his post says uh, autonomous, I think it was autonomous vehicles or independent vehicles, you know, and they're probably electric or something the name is a misnomer because every vehicle is is steered the bus that just went down there is is has a has a driver it also has a fuel system it also has parts that were made and will wear out like our knees and our joints and our 
heart and our eyesight and our hearing because all the material is subject to wear and tear. So really autonomous, what's autonomous? And while we're in slavery or in pain or in hurt, in difficulty, we're absolutely grateful for somebody to come in and help us to get out of there. But once we get out, we kind of say goodbye, thanks for the help, goodbye. And that, it's probably a lot already if we say thanks for the help, some people just drive off. If I remember correctly, somebody told me this is lace, something lace. Grandma's lace, or I don't know what, what was the name for this. This plant. Lots of it here. Beautiful, fresh life. And that doesn't come without its roots and its stem and without the sunlight, the chlorophyll. You know, what's independent? You know, probably the least independent beings of all are us people. Those calves we saw yesterday. Yeah, once they're a couple of hours old, they're able to stand up on their legs and move. How long does it take a baby to stand up on his legs and move? to run, to clean their nose, to clean their butt, <laughs> to make their food. How long does it take a child to learn to make food? And if we didn't have the food provided, what would we do? And to learn, to learn a language, to learn to speak, just to speak how much effort parents make to help children to speak. A lot's done unconsciously because of just being there for years, listening to conversation. And then our life of faith, the way that's nurtured by believers and also challenged by non-believers, so, we're in a field of many fields of tensions and dynamics and efforts and pressures and pulling and shoving and tugging. And this reflects itself in the relationship with God. It's not as serene and peaceful as the waters of the Sea of Galilee right now. It's more like stormy seas many times. And we see that today at a couple of levels. We see it in the chosen people freed from slavery. And they have big, big struggles with God. They want to do their thing. And they drive it to the limit. The story of the golden calf captures that very powerfully. We all know that in our conscience. I imagine that even the worst mafia bosses, the worst warlords, there's some points, obviously, when they really beat up their conscience, they can do just anything. But there's still some Years of limit to treat their own family members better, to consider certain ultimate limits you can't cross for at least for now, <laughs> that you can't do more damage. And this struggle is in, in every human heart, really. The struggle to be kind, to be merciful. And then knowing this challenge we have the struggle or the difficult path to learn that God is merciful. And the drama of discovering that, passing through the human categories in which we live, because God works with us the way we are. He doesn't transform us into angels with a magic wand.
he doesn't force us at gunpoint to go together with the community to give thanks. It's amazing the amount of variety of life we have seen already this morning, all these very different plants. And the psalm picks up this theme and it's turning it into a prayer. It's pondering it. And that's a very interesting phenomenon. That this people starts to remember, to ponder, to understand, not to forget. Oops, I hit a plant there. Not to forget the that struggle and to learn from it. This is the growth of wisdom. And that also teaches us how to be with toward each other afterwards, you know. Still another type of grass. Oh come on, phone. So here we have the psalm, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people, because at the end is the discovery that God loves us so much. That has an extraordinary culmination and peak in the fact that he gave his only son for us, who endured such incredible rejection. Such horrendous rejection and yet through that displayed such patience with us and really you see the same scheme of things in the first reading we had today we have today exodus i think kathleen commented also in the pilgrimage this people have become depraved they soon turned aside from the way i pointed out to them making a molten calf. Stiff-necked people. And then the human expectation, my wrath will rise up against them. And Moses then, that other aspect of the leadership interceding for the people. It's part of the core of priesthood to intercede for, before God for the people. So we go on to the psalm. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt. And the role of people to intercede before God for the people. So there's a, some members of the community are understanding, and that's the the beachhead, difficult beachhead, huh? This is a funny beachhead, wasn't it? The beachhead to begin a path of reconciliation. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. And maybe there's a little bit of that in our own lives that we can turn back and remember our own history and thank the Lord for being faithful to us even if we were not faithful to him. This is part of the process of Lent, to enter into that mystery of the mercy of God reconciling us. God bless you. See you later, alligators.
enjoy the blessings of today. Think about the people who need a word of reconciliation from you. You can favor your people, show kindness and mercy. And so develop more and more in the image and likeness of God in which you created us.